Well, news of a storm already has kids dreaming about school cancellations or delays. And parents having nightmares about <laughs> schedules and safety. But do you ever wonder what goes into deciding whether your child's school is canceled or delayed? News 10's Louisa Mola joins us live in the studio with some answers. Louisa? Mark Patrice, after Sunday's storm, some parents wondered why school was delayed in Vigo County and not canceled. They sounded off on our Facebook page wanting to know how the school corporation makes its decision about snow days. With another storm moving in tonight, we turned to Vigo County Superintendent Danny Tanous to find out. It starts with a drive. Tanous and his transportation director hit the roads to experience the driving conditions firsthand. You have our two-way walkie-talkies. We get out, drive the roads. We try to drive uh, without using four-wheel drive to test uh, the situation. And they do it late at night, once enough snow has accumulated. They may even send out some buses for a test run. What we call our snowbirds, our buses to drive the roads. While driving, Danny looks at the conditions, like ice, blowing, and drifting. Then they call the experts. Uh, treat me right, Kevin. Okay, sure will. Thanks for the heads up. I'll see Pamela Gardner. She's going to be at Regents Bank in the morning. I'll drive uh, in that way and get some uh, information from her. I'll call other uh, news stations, other weather folks. I'll be on Intelecast. And he'll call state and local police. Then it's time to weigh all the factors. If we uh, err on the side of anything, we're going to err on the side of what's best in the interest of our students and, and staff. Now, I'll be joining Superintendent Tanous on his early morning drive as he makes a decision for tomorrow's school day, and we'll bring that to you tomorrow on News 10. Mark, back to you. Thanks, Louise. And, of course, for up-to-date cancellations and delays, you can always visit our website, WTHITV.com.